Hi everybody, it's Tom and Talek here. We're going to take you through an advanced circuit now. All you're going to need is a chair to support yourself and a resistance band. So we're going to start with a marching warm-up to get you ready for the exercises. We're going to get the heart pumping and the muscles ready for the exercises ahead. So Talek's going to a march now. You can stand behind the chair or to the side of it and we're just going to get the heart rate going. That's it Talek, good work. We do this for 30 seconds. You can bring your knees up a little bit higher to increase that heart rate. And if you're feeling even more confident, you can bring your arms into it as well. That's it. So we're going to do this for another 10 seconds. That's it. Good work, Talek. We see you're working hard already. We'll do another five seconds. When we, in five seconds, you're just going to slow your march down. You're going to keep marching, but we're going to roll our shoulders at the same time. That's it. So we can roll our shoulders and march slowly at the same time. Good work. Just warming up a little bit. Excellent work. Just do another 10 seconds or so like this. That's it, five seconds, four, three, two, one. We'll take that march up again now. Forget about the shoulders, bringing those knees up. That's it, using the chair to support yourself if you need to. Good work, excellent. Hopefully the heart rate's going up a little bit now. We're getting ready for our circuit. All right, we're going to slow it back down again into a slow walk. And as we're walking, we're just going to bring our arms up in front. So we're we'll working the front of the shoulders ready for when we go to the bands. That's it. Again, we're going to do this for roughly 20 to 30 seconds until I see Talek's getting a little bit tired. Good work. Well done. That's it. Do another five seconds, and then we're going to slowly move into the circuit then. From four, three two, one, and relax off there, Talek. Great work, Talek. Now we're a little bit warmed up. We're gonna move into the main circuit. We're gonna do three exercises, seven rounds. The first exercise is always a squat. We'll do 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move on to a leg exercise for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna finish with a band exercise for 45 seconds. At any point, if you feel tired or need a rest, pause it and join back in when you feel comfortable again. All right, so we're starting with a squat. You can do this behind the chair or to the side of it for demonstration in Talek. So we're gonna have our feet hip width apart. Good. We're gonna pivot the hips coming back, looking forward, keeping our chest up, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds and we're going now. Let's go. Just work into your own pace. Remember, we're keeping our chest up and we're looking forward and you're only bending as far as you feel comfortable with those knees. Using, making sure all your weight is distributed through your heels not through your toes, so we're taking the pressure off the knees and we're just going with it. That's good work, Talek. You're working to your own pace. You can use the chair to support yourself if need be, just to keep the tension off the knees for a little bit. We've got about 10 seconds to go. And remember, when we've done this one again, we're gonna move in to a leg exercise again. And this is gonna be for 45 seconds. Keep going. So when we move into our next exercise, we're gonna go into a lunge, left side, I'm going to go for 30, 45 seconds. Let's go. That's it. So we're coming forward with that left leg. We're only bending down as far as we feel comfortable, keeping that chest up, and we're looking forward again, using that chair to support ourselves. Just making sure that we're leaning on that front leg and you're only leaning, bending the knee as far as you feel comfortable. And we're going for 45 seconds. Work into your own pace. Excellent work. Good. That's it, Talek. Lovely. You see Talek is getting nice and low with those knees, but if you've got a little bit of knee issues or the sore, just go as far as you feel comfortable. Even if it's a little curtsy, that's fine because you're still working those muscles. Keep going. We've got about 20 seconds left to go. How are you feeling, all right? Yeah. Good work. So when these 20 seconds are up, we're going to go into our band exercise. You keep going, Talek. We're going to do a band pull apart. And um, we've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, Talek, if you'd like to grab the bands, we're going to go into a band pull apart for 45 seconds. All right, so you're going to keep your hands, your arms shoulder level out in front, hands reasonably close together. You're going to do a, a small stretch, controlling the stretch all the way out and all the way back in. And again, we're going for 45 seconds. Let's go. We're looking forward. We've got a nice straight back. 
keeping that tension on the band the whole time. We're not bringing our hands too far out because we've got a wider grip stretch later on. That's it. Keep an eye on the time. That's it. And as you're stretching out, making sure you're breathing in and out. Good work. The shoulders feeling all right? Yeah. Good, because we've got another six rounds to go. <laughs> Keep going. That's it. 15 seconds to go. Good work. You can see Talik's got a nice straight, straight posture when he's looking forwards. He's controlling that band stretch the whole time. And we're working those shoulders all the way through the stretch as we come out and as we come back in. And we've got three seconds. Three, two, one, and relax off. Okay, that's round one down. We're going to go to round two, so we go back to squats again. So Talik, if you'd like to go to the side of the chair or behind it, we're going to go back into those squats again for 30 seconds. Off you go. So there's feet hip width apart, remember. We're looking forward, we're keeping our chest up, and we're bringing our weight through our heels. We're trying to keep a nice neutral back and chest up the whole time. That's good. And remember, you're only going as far as you feel comfortable with. Even if that's, well, Talik's got a good range of movement, but if your knees are a little bit sore, you don't have to go down too low. Good work. Halfway through Talik. Lovely work. And we're making sure we're breathing the whole time, getting the oxygen in our lungs into our muscles. That's it, we've got five more seconds. Then we're gonna go into our lunge again. This time we're gonna be leading with our right leg. And three, two, one. All right, if you want to come to the side of the chair, I'll turn the chair so you can see the technique. This is just for the video. All right, so we're going to lead forward with our right leg. Good work. And we're leading forward, keeping it back up. Chest up, looking forward, good work. And again, only going down as far as you feel comfortable. You can see Talis has got a nice straight back as he's going down, and he's not leaning forward. Good work, keep going. So we're doing this one for 45 seconds, and we're halfway through still. Excellent, really good. Again, making sure your breathing is nice and slow, so you're controlling your breathing. But at any point, if you do feel a little bit out of breath and you need to pause this, you can pause this, get your breath back, grab a drink, and then carry on. All right, we're nearly through. Five seconds, Talek. And then we're gonna go back to our band exercise. And three. Two, one, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna go back and sit in our chair now, grabbing our bands, and we're gonna work those triceps. So if you'd like to take a seat now, Talek, we're gonna feed your band behind your back, under your armpits, and your hands are gonna be up. That's it. Bring that band a little bit higher up. Good, and then we're gonna come forward with the bands, pressing out and we're going to be working those triceps. Good work. Nice and slow and controlled. And then bring those elbows back in. We're keeping those elbows tucked in the whole time. Good. And we're controlling that stretch out and all the way back in. Again, making sure you're breathing. You've got a nice straight posture. You're sitting up in the chair and your feet are firmly planted on the floor. Good. We're halfway through. How are you feeling? All right? I'm going to ask you every single round. Start the feeling now. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Ten more seconds left. And five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice deep breath. And that's round two complete. So we go back to so round three. We're back to squats for 30 seconds. So go back behind your chair. And we're going to go into those squats for 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. Good work. Excellent. Like I said before, if you need to pause it and grab a drink in between rounds, that's fine. And come back when we start again. That's it, keep going. We're not even halfway through yet. Excellent work. Weight through your heels, chest up, looking forwards. Like Talik has demonstrated, if you feel confident enough, you can take, let go of the chair, and you add a little bit more resistance to that, that squat. But again, you can use that chair to support yourself and take the impact off those knees. Keep going. I've lost track of time now. I think we've got about 10 seconds to go. Good work. Five seconds, four, three, 
two, one, excellent. All right, we're gonna go into a calf raise now. So you can hold the chair to support yourself, stand to the side of it if you need to. If you're confident enough without using the chair, you can go without. So we're gonna come up on our tiptoes, to our big toe and our second toe, and work through those calves. So we're coming right up and back down. Using that chair to support yourself if you need to. And we're looking forward, that's it, good. That's it, good work. Excellent, we're going for 45 seconds. We've done 15 seconds so far. We're keeping that movement nice and controlled and slow all the way up and all the way back down. Good work. That's it. Excellent, 10 seconds to go. And five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good work. Make your way to your seat. Grab your band. Now we're going to work on those biceps, getting those guns going. So you're slowly going to put your band into the back of your thighs now. Taking the band with both hands on either side. Thumbs are facing up. And keep your elbows tucked in and you draw your hands towards your shoulders. Keeping that movement nice and slow. You can make that resistance a little bit harder by bringing your bands, hands down the bands, or a little bit easier by bringing your hands up the bands. So there's a bit more give in the band. That's it. Good, and again, we're taking the movement nice and slowly. You're looking forward. You've got a nice straight posture in the chair. Talek's doing so well demonstrating here. Good, you can see those guns are being pumped now. Nearly at the end of round three. Excellent work. Keep going, we've still got 10 seconds to go. Good work. You feeling all right? Yep, yeah, all good. Good. Let's go, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Well done, Salik. That's round three down. So we're going on to round four now. Again, back to squats for 30 seconds. Off you go. We're getting through it now. We're about halfway through. That's it. Again, if you're feeling a little bit tired, you can pause it, come back to it. You don't need to bend, the, bend those knees so far, just as far as you feel comfortable. We're keeping that chest up at all times and we're looking forward. Using the chair to support yourself if you need to. Keeping the weight through the heels. Excellent, good work, Talek. 10 seconds left. Should be feeling those legs right now. And four, three, two, one. Good work. We're going to go into a side lunge now, leading with the left leg. So Tali's going to stand to the side of the chair to demonstrate this. And we're going to step out, bend your knees only as far as you feel comfortable with, and then coming back to the starting point again. Using that chair to support yourself. Very good. And we're doing this for 45 seconds. As we're doing it, we're trying to keep straight and neutral and bending those knees. Leading with that leg, good work. Using that chair to maintain your balance, because this is a good one to challenge your balance. Excellent work. Very good. Keep going. Still got 15 seconds. Good work. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work, Tarek. If you want to make your way into your seat again, so we're going to go to our bands. We're going to be working our back. So you're going to take the bands with your palm facing up. You're going to stretch the band out, keep your elbows tucked in, and then draw that band towards your navel and bring your elbows back. That's it, so bring it back. Good work. Draw it back in, and as you do, you can release the tension on the bands. And then as you draw back, bring that tension back. Good. Excellent work. You see Tyler's got a nice straight back, he's sitting up tall in the chair, he's looking forward, and he's keeping that movement nice and slow and controlled the whole time. Good work. Excellent, keep going. Still got 15 seconds. That's it, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. 
and relax off. Well done, Tade. That means we're on to another round. So yes, back into squats again for 30 seconds. Let's go. Should be feeling warmed up. Your heart should be going a little bit. You should be feeling those thighs. Good work. Just maintaining that posture again. You're sitting up tall, your chest, chest is up as you're doing your squats. And just reiterating of that weight through your heels and not your toes. So you're not putting so much pressure through your knees. And you can support yourself with a chair at all times as well. That's it. Keep going. 15 seconds. Feeling all right? I keep checking. Uh, my hat's gone a little bit more. Don't want to rest yet? <laughs> no, okay. Good. We've got five seconds and then we're going to go into a side lunge, leading with the right leg. And three, two, one. Okay. So we're going to do the opposite leg this time. Well done, Talek. That's the end of the squats. We're going to go to a side lunge again. This time we're going to be working the right leg. And we're going to be going for 45 seconds. Let's go. Again, bend the knee only as far as you're comfortable with. You've got the chair to support yourself. Your chest is up and you're looking forward. And you're breathing through the exercises as we keep going. That's good work. Well done, Tali. You've got to make sure you've got that chair just to support yourself because you are challenging your balance in these exercises as well. Good work. Well done. Still got 15 seconds to go. Excellent work, well done. One more exercise after this one with the bands. Keep going. And we're through to the next round. Let's go, three, two, one. Well done, Talek. If you make your way back into the seat, grab your bands. We're gonna be working the chest again. So a bit like that tricep exercise, you're gonna bring the band behind your back and under your armpits. We're going to extend that arm out, rotating the knuckles to face up, and then we're going to cross over the bands, over, under, bring your arms back, relax, and then repeat. That's it, good work. So we're working the chest here. This is quite a tough exercise, but it's important you just keep that movement nice and slow, controlling that stretch. Excellent work, well done. Again, we're looking at Alex's posture. He's sitting up tall in the chair. He's looking forward. His feet are firmly placed on the floor. And we're getting a nice stretch on that chest. Halfway through now. Good work. Well done. It's keeping that movement nice and slow so the tension is on the muscles that little bit longer. Good one. Keep going. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Well done, finish up. Put that band on the back of the chair and that's another round down. So yes, we're going back to squats again. Another 30 seconds. Let's go. Well done. Good. Keeping your chest up, looking forward, weights through your heels, using the chair to support you if you need it. Good, well done. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. That's it, good work. See, Tali's got a nice straight back, his chest is up and he's looking forward. He's still getting nice and low in those squats. Those quads are firing up. Good work, well done. All right, we're gonna move into the next one, which is gonna be a reverse lunge, leading with your left leg. All right. We're standing to the side of the chair now, so you can see the demonstration purposes. So he's leaning back, leaning back with his left leg. This is a good one to practice if you struggle with lunges at the front. Some people find it easier doing the reverse lunge. Again, he's keeping his chest up. He's using the chair to support himself. He's looking forward. And you might not be able to go as low as Tanner can in those when you're bending your knees, but just go far as go down as far as you feel comfortable with. Alright. That's it, good. And Tanner is showing he's going to use both of his hands in the chair so he's got more support as he's doing the exercises. Keep going. That's it. Well done. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. You can make your way to your seat again. We've got a band exercise. So we're going back to the first one again, which is the band pull apart, but we're going to stretch it a little bit wider now. So we're going to come out, taking the band with an overhand grip, 
your arm to shoulder level, you're going to bring your arms out a little bit wider, that's it, and then slow control, back in. So we're working the back here, the back of the shoulders. Really good. As you can see, Talek's controlling the stretch all the way back out and all the way back in, which means his muscles are under tension for that a little bit longer. You don't want to be coming out too fast and going back in too fast because it's taking that tension off the muscles. Good work. We're nearly there. We've got one more round after this. That's it, good. You see Talek, his posture's good again. He's looking forward. We've got 10 seconds to go. That's it. Good work, well done. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax the bands. Well done. Last round. So we're going back to squats again for the last time. 30 seconds. You ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Well done. Good work. Using your chair to support yourself if you need to. Like I say, again, if you do need a rest, Pause it, come back to it when you've got your breath back. Good. All right, 15 seconds left. Good work. Just talking about those teaching points again. Looking forward, chest up, weight through your heels. And you're going down as far as you feel comfortable with. That's it, good work, well done. Excellent. Good work, Talek. Three, two, one. So we're gonna go to that reverse lunge again. This time we're going to do the right leg, all right? And again, we're going to go for 45 seconds. Off you go. Well done. Excellent. Again, like with the squat, you're only bending that knee as far as you feel comfortable with. You should really be feeling those legs now. So this will be a bit more difficult, but use that chair to support yourself. Try to keep a nice neutral back so you're straight and you're looking forwards. That's it, good work. Brilliant. You good? Yeah. Good. I see Talek has gone behind his chair now because we're used to the side just for demonstration, but now he's got support with both of his hands. We've got five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Slowly make your way to your chair again. We're going to do a hip abduction exercise now. So, what you do is wrap that band in the back of your legs and then create a loop with that band. That's it, holding the band with your hands, and you're going to step out to the side, alternating each step. That's it, we're not going to go too far, we're just going to work against the resistance of the bands, and we're doing 45 seconds with that, good work. So we're working those hips now, firing them up. And again, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can increase the tension on the band by making that loop a little bit tighter. And obviously making it easier to go the opposite way, you can loosen that loop up. Good work. We're halfway through. Good work, keep going. Well done, Sadek. Nearly there. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Well done, Sadek. You've done the circuit. We're going to do a cool down now. So if you want to put the band on the back of the chair, we'll do the whole of the cool down seated. Sorry to make you stand up and sit down. Take the chair back a little bit. Okay. So sit in that chair, we're going to check that posture. So we're sitting up nice and tall in the chair. What I'd like you to do is extend your right leg out with your heel on the floor. That's it, so come to the edge of your seat a little bit more. That's it. All right, so bring that right leg out, so the heels on the floor, toes up, and you can keep it nice straight back. Feeling that hamstring now. You can lean forward a little bit to get a bit more of a stretch, but you're not gonna to lean too far forward, all right? You can support yourself on the chair if need be. Keeping it straight back when we're looking forward. Yeah, you can support your hand on your knee, but don't put it on the joint, on your, sorry. You can support your hand on your thigh, but don't put your hand on your knee at any point. That's it, good. Now slowly bring your leg back in and extend the other one out. That's it, holding that stretch again. We're gonna hold this for roughly 30 seconds. So you see lean, Talek's leaning forward a little bit to get that stretch in the hamstring. Once you feel that little twinge on the hamstring, just hold that stretch, that's the point you wanna be at. Good work, well done. 
balance that leg. Slow breathing, that's it. Get, get your energy back, get the oxygen back in your lungs after that hard circuit. Excellent work. Okay, draw, bring that leg back now. So what I'd like you to do now is bring your hands behind you in your seat. That's it. Support yourself and just push through the arms and just lengthen through the back. That's it. Just hold that stretch there. Good. Okay, a nice stretch through the full of the body now. Well done. Just hold for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Right, now what I'm going to do with your right hand, just bring it to your right shoulder and you're going to walk your fingers down your back a little bit and get a stretch in that tricep. You can use your other hand to support it, as long as you're not pushing too far on your elbow joint. Just hold that there. You can hold that there for about 15 seconds. Good work. Well done. Do another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, now you're going to bring your left hand to your left shoulder, walk your fingers down your back, support with that arm again, getting that stretch in the tricep, good work. We'll hold for about 15 seconds, well done. That's my watch, we're not finished just yet. <laughs> Three, two, one and relax, good. So we're moving up the body, we're just gonna to come to our shoulders, we'll do a few roll, shoulder rolls, drawing those shoulders up towards your ears and then bringing your hands kind of back down towards your back like you put your hand in your back pocket. That's it, just rolling it out. Well done. Good work, let's do another five seconds of those. Four, three, two, one, and then relax off there. One more exercise to finish with, just up to your head. We're slowly gonna to look to the left, only as far as you feel comfortable. Then we're gonna come all the way back to the right and look to the right. That's it, well done. Keep going. Well done. One more each way. That's it, let's do one more to the left, one more to the right. Good, now look forward. Tarek, you can give yourself a clap, well done. Everybody at home, you can give yourself a clap, well done. Well done, everyone. Yeah, excellent work, guys. Check out some more of the videos on the page, and we'll see you again soon.